Yes, good morning. I would like to continue the Calder Hicks compensation principle. Uh, the another economist who uh, came forward with the some modifications. This particular compensation principle is uh, Sisitkovsky. Of course, Sisitkovsky's ideas are called as double criterion of welfare. So uh, I will take on just uh, ten minutes to explain these particular concepts. So uh, this person who talks about Calder Hicks criterion uh, to rule out the possibility of contradictory results in Calder Hicks criterion, Sisitkovsky formulated double criterion which requires the fulfilment of Calder Hicks criterion also to fulfilment of reversal test. Remember that I already said this is the improvement over. Uh, Calder Hicks criterion because Calder Hicks decisions are subject to criticism because of some reasons. So he would not like to be contradictory. Yeah, sorry, he would not like to expect some contradictory conditions in Calder Hicks criterion. So he has some made some modifications. Uh, so that definitely fulfills the uh, the uh, the reversal test of this particular theory. It means that a change. Is an improvement if the if the gainers in the changed situations are able to persuade the losers to accept the change, and simultaneously losers are not able to persuade the gainers to remain in the original situations. So uh, he pointed out that it is possible to according to Calder Hicks criteria that state B is better than state A. Please remember there uh, the ideas that we have discussed already in the Calder Hicks uh, uh, theory. So here is. Uh, that B is better than state A, but once the society moves to the state B, the same criteria may reveal, uh, reveal that the return move from B to A is also desirable uh, on welfare grounds. This contradiction has been called the Sesetkovsky paradox. I repeat again: um, uh, once, of course, uh, you reach to the state B better than state A. But the society moves to the state B. The same criteria may reveal that the return move from B to A is also desirable on the welfare grounds. This contradiction has been called the Sesetkovsky paradox. Most of the time, we'll think that once you reach to the A, then there's no chance to come back to the B. Uh, but this person is going to show that how there is a chance of come back to the B also. So that type of you know contradiction is been called as Sesetkovsky paradox. So Sesetkovsky pointed out that to get at the correct criteria of welfare, we must remove this contradiction. He has therefore offered his own criteria called the Sesetkovsky double criteria. I am not here going to discuss in detail about this theory, but this is the diagram. I hope that uh, you are going to understand this diagram properly. The same diagram which we have taken earlier. Here it is. Sesetkovsky uh, wanted uh, an economic change to satisfy. The double test, uh, the fulfillment of Calder Hicks test, uh, plus the non-fulfillment of the reversal test. This means that a movement from state A to B must be desirable in terms of Calder Hicks criterion, but a return from B to A should not be an improvement on this criteria. The essence of Calder Hicks statistical criterion can be expressed thus: Calder Hicks criteria are met if in, in an economic change, gainers can overcompensate the losers. This reversal test is satisfied if losers are able to bribe the gainers to stay in the old position. The Sesetkovsky double test is is satisfied, but the fulfillment of the Calder Hicks test plus the non-fulfillment of the reversal test is very very important. So these are the things that we are going to discuss about uh, this um, Calder uh, Hicks and Sesetkovsky ideas. Uh, so. You may uh, refer these uh, things and one or two, three books also in regarding this one, because so that you can understand. I think I already posted on the Google class about this uh, Calder Hicks uh, and uh, Sisitkovsky compensating principle, and uh, you, you may club to Calder and Hicks, uh, and after that the Sisitkovsky, because uh, you may not, uh, you know. Uh, combine all these three economists in one basket, in one area, one ground, and uh, but the line of thinking is uh, not much different. Uh, they want to go, uh, you know, in the same same way, but some improvements would like to 
made by some improvements are made by uh, this one uh, Sachetkovsky. So uh, you need to study Sachetkovsky too. With these words, I complete the compensating principle uh, of these two uh, uh, economists. And from the examination point of view, please uh, read it. Uh, you know, little see seriously, and uh, the outcome will be, of course, after the exam. With these words, I complete this compensating principle. Uh, thank you, dear students. Please read it. Uh, if you don't understand, please contact me also. Thank you.